What's up, go-getters? I am super excited to share this Canva feature with you. Um, I was helping my husband with a logo the other day and I came across this amazing feature that Canva has. It's called Text to Image. So what it allows you to do is to type in whatever you want your image to look like and then Canva will come up with some different ideas, some image ideas for you according to what you type in. I believe it's a newer feature, so they're still developing it, but it's pretty cool and I wanna share it with you. So the first thing that you're gonna do is just log into your Canva account and then you're gonna choose whatever kind of document or type of file you wanna start with. So for me, I'm just going to you know, type in logo here. I already have it here. I'm just gonna select that and you're free to like select a template if you want to, but since you are really trying to create from scratch, you can just create a blank version of whatever type of um, file you're looking to open. Once you've opened your file, you're gonna go to the left, this left menu here, and you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to click on apps. Once you click on apps, text to image should come up right here on the left side. So you're gonna click on that. So this box here is where you're going to, you know, describe whatever it is that you want for Canva to come up with. And um, you can actually also do it by style. You can start with certain styles and things like that, like 3D, drawing, pattern, painting, photo, concept, art. And also you can do it by aspect ratio as well. So you can select some of these options first as well. So let's just say like, we want our style, our style of art to be in the painting style. And then they're giving you some inspiration here, like a panda riding a bike through a city with um, with depth of field or a photo of a magical forest or a light watercolor painting. So I'm just gonna try to describe something. A little girl with rain boots playing in the rain. And let's just see what it comes up with. And another thing that you guys should know is that you know it is gonna take some time to generate these images and also they will give you like a limited amount of times to use it so once you've used it so many times you'll have to like take a break that's what i've noticed as well so i'm not really liking these it doesn't look like a painting to me so i'm just going to do a create something again and then i'm just going to try something else altogether after that so this one looks more like a painting. So let's just pop it over here so that we can see what it looks like. So when I when I get something that I like, what I tend to do is I will put the things that I like over here and then I will add new pages so that I can save the images that I like. So as you can see, it created a little girl in the rain and it looks a little bit more like a painting. Let me enlarge it so that you can see what it's looking like. Looks a little bit more like a painting. So let's come up with like another idea. Logo for a cupcake bakery. I don't know if you can do colors. Let's try in pink and white and see what it comes up with. So this is sort of like Canva's AI image tool. There are definitely better image tools out there. Like Mid Journey is probably in my opinion, one of the best where you can go into there and put certain prompts and create like amazing images over there. But this is pretty cool too, as well, because it'll give you different ideas. So here's one that they came up with, a logo for a cupcake bakery, which I think is pretty cool. So this is what this is looking like. I mean, that can give you like a pretty good idea. You probably have to take out these words. One thing I noticed about AI is that it kind of like really messes up the words. This is pretty cool too, to give you an idea of a logo. And I mean, this isn't a logo that I would use, which you definitely could just white out you know, this part by adding a white square and then adding your own words to this if you wanted to. And I will tell you, I haven't been overly impressed with like the images that this comes up with, but sometimes it comes up with some pretty good stuff. My husband and I sat for a while, it wasn't so bad. So I'm gonna hit create again. We really had to work with it, change the words around, add things to the prompts and stuff that we were giving it. And it started coming out with some really good stuff. So this is just like a plain cupcake in a circle that I feel like I could work with if I wanted to. It looks a little blurry to me though. The cupcake itself is a bit blurry. So I don't really care for that one so much. 
I'm gonna create one more time. So I feel like it's getting further and further away in my opinion from an actual logo. Like most people aren't gonna create a logo with like a real looking cupcake like this. And also I'm noticing that the blurriness of the images is just like really bad on these. I say play around with it, put different types of prompts. For the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna sit here too long with it and extend the video, but that's how you use it guys. Um, definitely try some different prompts and some different designs um, and let me know in the comments if you tried it and what you came up with. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed.